Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today we're going to do a little video on a little trick with your Harvest Right uh, freeze dryer. Now, whenever your screen comes up, your startup screen, it comes up either you start it so it starts to cool down or you have a customize button. Now we're going to push this customize button. Okay. What you see here are the presets as far as this first one initial freeze what it's going to bring down to and then it's going to start your vacuum pump up uh your next is your extra dry which is set from the factory at two hours so once it completes its freeze and it goes into its extra dry where you'll see a countdown timer it's going to count down two hours and then the last one is 125 degrees fahrenheit that's the temperature it heats the trays now as far as the initial freeze, to me, that doesn't matter. That's fine where it's at. And I don't like to go above 125 on the, the temperature that heats the trays because especially if you put in herbs, you get too high and you start cooking the oils out of them. So uh, as far as, those are fine. But what I did do is I extended my dry time. And on some things, I might even extend it longer. But I extended my dry time to... Uh, six hours and the reason why is a lot of things that i dry say peppers or something like that they might have a little moisture up in the end where you've got uh, a little thicker mess right around where your seeds are on that and it, and you most of the time if you're doing peppers you want the seeds because that's where a lot of the heat is so you don't want to take that section out and a lot of times it doesn't freeze dry as good so I, I add a little extra dry time but i leave it there for everything i dry because whenever it's finished and say it stops or it finishes up the regular freeze drying time and starts into its countdown in the middle of the night i might come in in the morning and it's still counting down i can just decrease this and i'll show you this uh towards the end of the cycle how, how that's done but it keeps my trays warm it does a little extra drying it doesn't really cost that much more an expense to dry that extra time and to ensure that you have a good quality product that you're putting in your mylar bags and if you're planning to store for a long term you want to make sure that you've got that moisture out of there so anyway once you set that and it's just a matter of your your arrows if you want less you push your minus and and it'll it'll go 30 30 minutes for each time you push the button and then once you're finished you just hit save because if you change it and you don't hit save it's not going to save now what you do is your regular startup and right now it's going to go through its 15 minute cool down and we'll show you how at the end to cut that that time down so it won't be confusing okay we've been drying for about 30 hours almost this countdown timer here this is the extra dry time that was set at six hours now it still says it's got three hours left but I'm gonna check it because I think it's probably dried long enough I just leave it there but I just hit the down until you hear the vacuum pump shut off then it'll uh, come back to this screen now once I check these which it's just a matter of releasing the vacuum and uh, once it gets the vacuum off I can open the door but what I'll do is I'll I'll take and look at a thicker piece and I'll actually sample it and, and see if I can uh, feel any moisture so we'll just see here uh, That looks pretty big. Let's... Feel a little moist still. Let's see. Much. There's a thicker one right there. See if it that one I had kind of was like it was moist in the middle. 
Yeah, it's still, it's still a little moist. So, what we'll do is we're just going to close it up. And we're going to hit more dry time. And, well, okay. And then we'll hit continue because we've got the drain closed. And what it's going to come up with is your counter. Now I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to come out here uh, late in the evening, but I'm going to give it by what I'm saying there. I'm going to give it about seven hours more dry time. And you'll have to do this on your your own as far as to decide. But this this will let you know how to uh, how to actually add that extra dry time and understanding that you can do it where it starts on on the front end before you actually do your cool down and i hope you find this video helpful if you like it well of course give it a big thumbs up uh share it it really helps my channel and if you want to see more of my videos well just hit that subscribe hit the bell button and you'll be notified happy gardening